Lord Gansun Zong, you can't start a fight here. Please, let us walk away together. You'll see, Yuan Shao. I'm the one whose name will shine the brightest on the field of battle. Friend, thank you. It's lucky that he had you there by his side. I fear my fellow student has a temper. Forgive me. My name is Liu Bei. Let us defeat that traitor Dong Zhuo and bring peace back to our land. Xiao Yun, what are you doing? Xiao Yun is my name. I hope we meet again, perhaps on the field of battle. Master Gong Sun Zhang, what do you know of the man I was speaking to? Liu Bei? He and I were students together. He was always quite gentle, but that's pretty much all he was. Just gentle? No. There's something about him. What do you say about it all now, Yuan Shao? It was my White Riders the enemy feared most. It was the White Rider. Zhao Yun, you fought almost as well as I did out there. I want you around. You've got a big future with me. Right. I'll be due some honors for this fight, that's for certain. This country needs more men like me. Let us defeat that traitor Dong Zhuo and bring peace back to our land. Master Gong Sung Zong, physical strength will not bring back peace to our land. It is something else. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. I seek something greater than strength. I find that I must leave your side for a time. What? Where are you going, Xiao Yun? To search for what I seek. I ask that you forgive my breach of duty. And I know where to start. Liu Bei, there is more to that man than meets the eye. Forgive me, Xiao Yun. I don't like telling a good warrior to go. Your offer must be declined. Alas, I don't know whether we'll escape or not. We are outnumbered by Cao Cao's forces. I cannot ask you to join a rout. Light must be brought back to the land. You talked about peace in the land. I think you can accomplish this. You'll need other men's aid to do it. I have come here to offer help. Today we need strength, so I wield my spear. We shall drive away the darkness. We will ride into war together! Come, follow me! I do not fear the pain. As long as I am able to stand and fight, I will advance my lord's cause. Zhao Yun. 
My lord. I know that you feel conflicted regarding it, how we can attack Chengdu. It must fall. I understand that in my heart and mind. Your vision requires it so. Visions? Dreams? Zhao Yun? Are they illusions? After I take Chengdu and cause pain to Master Liu Zhang, can I ever be the same man I am today? Or will my heart be filled with clouds and confusion like those that haunt the land? I think you'll remain you. Being a leader is hard and difficult. My lord, you must believe in yourself as we believe in you. Han Zhang, the land where the founder of the Han lived, where he first declared his intentions for the land. All of that is in the past. What will our lord and his title of king mean today? As one gets older and older, we tend to walk through the halls of memory more and more frequently. You can look at the past with great clarity, but you must also consider the current times as they occur. And so the present day and the past merge and become our future. That makes sense. We link Liu Bei to the founder in the people's minds. <laughs> ah. First, you must educate people about the past. Then they will truly wonder what the future is holding. I hope the name of the king of the past will bring us a great future for this land. He still will have his revenge? Yes. I always knew Master Guan Yu held a special place in our Lord's heart. I know. Though we oppose Wu in our fight, a battle fought merely for revenge does not have honor. I suppose. But one might also say that within his heart, he's constant as a star. Hmm. You're right. When it comes to his friends, above all else, he is loyal. And that supersedes all of the dogma. There's the proof right there. Even in his position, he risks his life for a friend. He sacrifices for his brothers as he does for the land and its people. Yes, he brings hope to the land. It is our duty to protect him and that hope. I don't know. Was I wrong this entire time? Or did I just overestimate my own ability? I cared for the people, and because of it, they all risked their lives. And what was it all worth? So many are dead. So, will you now quit your chosen path? Of course, it is for you to decide. I lay down my spear at your feet. My lord, if within your heart you still care, then your duty is to fight for the people. You must move beyond this battle. Find a path through your sorrow. For as long as my lord moves forward, I, Zhao Yun, will continue to open the path with my spear. Yes, Zhao Yun. Yes. Thank you. As we face this battle today, I have no doubt we will win. I've discovered how weak I am, but I have found a vision that will not fade away. And here, you have all gathered to support me despite knowing of this weakness. My lord. Ah, I am truly blessed by your faith. I swear to you this. My own life is not as important as this vision of mine. Let us go, my lord. Let this battle be a beacon to all. 
Our vision will shine across the land. You're making me commander? My lord, there are many men here who are much more worthy than I am. Those that you deem more worthy have all recommended you to lead. I find that I agree. I believe that you are the most worthy to be commander over all the forces of this land. I hope to create a world where weapons and armies are no longer needed. I regret that it is not yet that time. Strength is required to keep the peace. Zhao Yun, please take this position in loyalty to me. Use your spear to protect this land. I will, my lord. I give you my word. I will serve the land as you command me, lord. My spear is yours. Xiao Yun will risk his life to protect the land. expect us to fight at the side of green recruits? To be perfectly frank with you, we never expected this many volunteers to respond to our call. Because of that, we are honored to have been chosen to meet the enemy on the front lines of battle. What do you mean we're honored? We might as well go and commit suicide. You can get killed fighting on the front lines. What does that matter? Our purpose remains the same. We will use all our skill to stop this uprising. We require a leader, one that would be an inspiration to the people, one worthy of our loyalty. Commander Liu Bei, I have brought Master Guan Yu and Master Zheng Fei. Welcome to our force. I am Liu Bei, a direct descendant of Liu Shang, King of Zhongshan. The Imperial Han has asked us to fight against the rebels. Together, we will answer that call. Victorious! Hmm? Is something wrong, Master Liu? This victory. We're only treating the symptoms, not the illness. We are fighting a war against misguided peasants. That will not cure this world of chaos. Tell me then, what is your solution? What would your duty lead you to fight against? I begin at its very core. It is corruption that ruins the land, a blight that harms the people. I see. It would please me greatly if I were allowed to help you in this endeavor, a sword of your noble purpose. Oh, to have even one man such as yourself is worth a thousand. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. I'll join in with your cause as well. Then here, in this place, let us swear an oath of brotherhood that we shall live and fight and die as one! As the leader of this coalition, I, the Honorable Yuan Shao, offer our heartfelt thanks for all the aid that you have given us. A pack of hyenas steeped in pride and ambition. There is no need to even talk with them to see that. You say what you think. A very dangerous tendency when you're far from home. In general, mediocre people tend to strive for mediocre goals. Is that not right, Master Guan Yu? And how is it that you know my name? As you are so adept at recognizing mediocrity, I pride myself on being able to recognize those of true worth. Will you not sit down for a moment? You're not in a hurry to leave, I hope. I would be honored if you shared a cup with me. I regret I cannot. Thank you. 
I have duties which were entrusted to me, and I must see to them. A man of great depth and character. I believe great things are in store for Master Cao Cao. I request that you stay by my side a little longer, Guan Yu. My lord, you have chosen to follow the path of principle. Such a pathway is filled with great honor. For me, the path of my own duty is extremely clear. It's to be loyal. Nothing can part me from my brothers. So, you feel the individual is greater than the path? I swore a sacred oath with these men, and all my honor commands that I go to them. But I do not leave you so quickly, my lord. I offer you my heart and strength for your battle at Guandu. He, too, cares about the principles we fight for. I know that is true. But I understand why he must leave. Guan Yu, share your thoughts with me. From what you have seen of him, what kind of man is Cao Cao? He's deep, intelligent, strong. He has very strong principles. He is worthy of being called a hero and is a man who will fight for his dream. He judges every man by his abilities, nothing more. He's fair, yet his feelings don't sway him. Hence, he has no caring for the people. No caring for the people? Strange. I fear I could not share the land with such a man. It is truly a shame. Well, Guan Yu, you're back. It is good to see you again. I wield my blade for the benefit of all. It is my duty to clear this land of chaos. Let us go forward, my brother. We'll teach those who have chosen to stray from the path. So, you say that you will continue on, and go to Yi. That is the place where brother can stand and grow. Kampi, you will come with me! Guan Yu! I know you must head west. Good luck on your journey. My son and I will stay. We will make it our duty to guard Jing for you. I see. Both Wei and Wu would want to own it. It's right on Yi's doorstep. My lord, I wish you success in capturing Yi. May we have the privilege of guarding your back? Brother, you have just made your way back to us. Come now. It is not as if this is the last day we will meet. Father. Are you sure our lord won't be angry? We weren't ordered to attack Fawn Castle. I've no time for that. This situation must be taken care of now. Brother must move to capture Han Zhang soon. Before you reap the harvest, you must cut the weeds. Makes sense. We must keep Fawn Castle from being a threat, but we'd need Chengdu to give us their help. So our lord couldn't move on Han Zhang. That means we'll have to spend more time on our conquest. Ugh. Sometimes the best way to defend is to attack. Ah, the enemy has moved quicker than us. My son Ping, we will become like great dragons. We will blow away the dark clouds that threaten this land! Right, father! <laughs> Coming from the west! Uh, it's, a uh, our allies! Brother! Guan Yu! You're all right. I thought I was too late. I was gathering men together. While you took care of important matters, I'm sorry that I worried you. No. 
I'm just glad that what I feared did not come to pass. But brother, there was no need for you to face this alone. I hope that you do not think that you cannot call on me. Brother, do you remember the oath that we swore that day? Of course, we swore that we would live, fight, and even die together. Yes, and no matter what kind of trouble might still face us, we must honor that oath. We are nearing the end. Soon, brother. Just one more battle, and then we will realize your dream. Yeah. From beating up on yellow turban bandits to this. Who'd have guessed, huh? Who knew back then that I would ever be calling you my friend? Or should I say my brother? Oh, you looked like a weakling then. <laughs> I did not look weak, Shang Fei. You! Didn't you think so as well? No. Even then I believed in Liu Bei and his vision, and that he'd be able to lead us. We have journeyed far. <laughs> Indeed we have! Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. We fight and live to create a new world. You say you want me to become the Grand General, and take control over all the armies of the land. And yet, brother, we have won peace. There is no more need for armies or fighting. Still yet, the proud, bold figure of a true warrior will act like a deterrent to some. The sight of Guan Yu carrying the Blue Dragon will help keep the world a place of peace without chaos and war. Brother, that is part of the dream. Then I, Guan Yu, do agree to accept this duty that you have laid on me. For the peace and prosperity of my brother's land, I will do all I can to show the people the true meaning of duty. What a bother. That weakling they put us with really doesn't seem all that dependable. I see that you have considerable confidence in your skill with a weapon, Zhang Fei. However, you cannot change the world with just a weapon. It takes something more than strength. Haha! <laughs> change the world, huh? I never thought about doing that even when I was drunk. But things have sure changed in this crazy world. A man can't go out and drink in peace anymore. Ha! <laughs> we must stop the rebels and their uprising. It spreads like a sickness throughout the land. Well... Those rebels will be plenty sick when I'm done with them. Those yellow turbans made a mistake when they got me angry. I'll teach them a lesson. Huh. This is almost too easy. Excellent. You and your spear ensured our victory. Knock it off. You'll make me blush. So what about you guys? What are you going to do when we're all done? I know where my future lies. I have decided that from this day forward, I will tie my fate with Liu Bei to bring his vision to fruition. We would like to know if you would join us. You seem like the adventurous type. <laughs> well, it does sound interesting. All right, you can count me in. My name is Zhang Fei. You can call me Fei if you want. Hey, 
you! Stop right there! <laughs> In a hurry, are you? Hey, who are Are you all right? Oh, Lord Liu Bei, it's you! You have returned to save us! <laughs> They're in the town! Liu Bu and his men are doing whatsoever they please! We're afraid that they will kill every one of us! Lord Liu Bei, I beg of you, we need your help badly! Please, save Xia Pi from those monsters! That makes me mad! It's my fault! I let that fool Lu Bu get the best of me! Well, it won't happen again! This time I'm ready for it! Lu Bu will be crushed! Do you think he's alright? Even a guy like you will have problems dealing with Cao Cao. Cao Cao treasures people of talent. Guan Yu will have no problems while he is there. If you must worry, then worry about Yuan Shu. I hear that he has gotten his hands on the Imperial Seal, and that with it he intends to call himself Emperor. He has profaned the Imperial Court. He's brought confusion to the land. This cannot stand. Zhang Fei, it is up to us to crush this ambitious traitor quickly! You're right. Guan Yu can wait. It's Yuan Shu we need to pay attention to right now. Watch out, Yuan Shu! Cao Cao put me in an unhappy mood, and now you're gonna pay! It's a shame that the symbol of the land would cause such loss of life. Liu Bei, and just what do you intend to do with the Imperial Seal? So you plan to succeed Yuan Shu and turn your treacherous ways against the Han? Don't be fools. I shall take this seal and return it to the Imperial family. You are a traitor, and you will die! Brother, it looks like you've been outmaneuvered. All those speeches of Cao Cao's were nothing but hot air. He said Yuan Shu was going to declare himself Emperor. But his real plan was to draw you to Yuan Shu and kill you both. Hmm. It seems that I have been made a fool of by Cao Cao. I can't go back to Shu Chang. Fei, let's bide our time in Jing until we figure out what to do. Unbelievable. That Cao Cao tricks us and you're too nice of a guy to fight back? Frustrating. Brother, how long are we going to have to run from those chasing us? Actually, Zheng Fei, I wouldn't define it as running away. Zhuge Liang has an excellent plan. We are to join with the Sun family. In order to do so, we must cross the Changjiang River. Besides which, I must avoid involving these commoners who have placed their trust in me. Stand it! I refuse to continue showing the enemy my back! Go and cross your river. I'll make sure that no one prevents you from getting Stop there. Stop it, Zhang Fei. I'm telling you, there is no purpose in fighting at this time. Who cares about a purpose? The only thing that matters is that I refuse to run away from a fight! Worry about the enemy, not me! Thinking about a good fight is improving my mood! Stay out of the way! Brother Yu has been killed! What kind of world is it if you can't avenge the death of your brother? I can understand your anger, but there is too much at stake here. There's a strategy. It requires us to keep our alliance with Wu. We must keep Cao Cao in check. Please, don't endanger this delicate balance. Xiao Yun, it is no longer a problem of balance or strategy. My lord? Guan Yu. My brother has been murdered! I demand retribution! 
I think that you and I have never had this happen to us. We agree on something. Yes, we both agree. We will soon have our revenge. Let us make them pay for this murder! What's wrong? Has something got you down? Zhang Fei. I fear I... Hold it! After all this, you're starting to regret what we did? I understand. Up till now, you've only fought for your vision. If we hadn't taken revenge, then how could we continue? It's true. Continue? But would it be right to continue? After all, I just... Of course it's right! Do you think we'd be honoring Brother Yu if we were to stop now? Nothing is over yet. Those of us who are still alive can never give up. True. You are right, brother. We will never forget him. And you... Watch over us in our struggle. We will complete the path we three began. So, the final battle is going to be fought right here in these mountains. I figured that we would be marching on Xu Chang or someplace like that. We must not fight where there are people. The townspeople are innocent. To fight there would be wrong. <laughs> Gentle as ever. That's why people follow you around, praising your virtues. Don't speak of me like that! No. Thank you. You have my thanks, Zhang Fei. I find it very difficult. Everyone is looking for a hero. But you know I am nothing more than another person. I owe you everything. Truly, I would not have come this far without a good friend like you. Oh, stop. I've heard enough. Now, no more talking. It's time for a battle. Then we'll report to Brother Yu's grave. You are certain about this, Zhang Fei? It's time I moved on. We've accomplished what the three of us set out to do. Besides, there are a lot of places in the land where I've never been. We have achieved much. We've ended the chaos. And yet, in my heart, all I can feel is sadness. You're not going to get emotional on me, are you? Now I've got a friend who's an actual emperor, don't I? Yes. Yes, you do. A friend forever. Well, see you later. Take care of the Empire. By the way, I hope you don't mind. You're stuck with having Zhang Fei as a brother forever, my friend. Yes, I understand. I, Zhuge Liang, wish to help. I will do all that is in my power to help you create your vision. You have my gratitude. However, you must know that yours will not be an easy path. What awaits you is years of wandering and waiting, of carefully laid plans and strategies. In the difficulties that you will face, you must always remember your purpose and never sway from your path. I will not sway. What will bring about your vision in the end is not my strategies, but your heart and how true you will stay. There are a great number, but that will not benefit us in a fight. Most of them will only be in the way. However, there are more than I ever would have expected. 
These people have given their trust to our Lord. I had not imagined what an encouraging sight that could be. Look at them all. I'll shoulder the burden of their trust to create a better world for them to live in. Now I see. This is a task that I shall find satisfaction in accomplishing. My lord, we are now at the start. We have allied with Wu and stand opposed to Cao Cao. From this point on, I shall make use of all my skills so that we may remove all uncertainty from your dream and make it reality. Yes, I will depend on you. We can have no success without your helping us. Then the time has come. You must begin to head to the west. West? My lord will not find his victory at Qi Bi. I have already sent Master Zhang Fei and Master Zhao Yun to grasp the victory that awaits my lord in the west. An excellent plan. Then I will travel west. I shall take my leave. My lord, do not ever let yourself forget your true purpose. have arrived. Now, we will meet with our Lord first, then on to Zhang. We go to Zhang province then. During the battle at Qi Bi, we took the province of Jing. Jiang is now in our possession. All this is a stepping stone, so that we might gain control over Yi province. Now I see, quite clever. We need to grow in strength, and Yi is where we can do it. But to do it with such guile... Even guile is of use. Conventional fighting will not achieve our Lord's goals. I tell you, I have difficulty understanding Master Liu Bei at times. I wish a few of those big brutes surrounding him would knock some sense into his head. I understand. But nonetheless... I know, I know. That is why they all follow him. I do feel for you, though, Zhuge Liang. Thanks to his gentle nature, your strategies look especially cruel. I do not care. I will do all that I can. I do not seek a reward. It is for Liu Bei to be loved, not me. Yes, you are right. That is true. Then let us do what is necessary to create the path for that gentleman, and help him change this harsh world of ours. Right, Zhuge Liang? The love the people have for my lord, the legend of King Liu Bang and Hang Zhang, who ascended the throne. When these are combined as one, we'll soon see the results in Hang Zhang, where the people and all their hopes will then turn to the land of Shu. I am worried. In what way? Aren't you pushing things too quickly? I mean, our attack on Master Liu Zhang, and now this attempt to link me in the minds of the people with Liu Bang. Those who do not know you are starting to say that when it comes to the Han, you are the traitor. And I can't bear knowing I'm the cause of that. I have nothing to prove to others. It is enough for me that my lord honors me with his total trust. In a world full of chaos, it cannot be an easy path. Let me bear the brunt of the world's disfavor. 
and not you. It is you who must be loved by the people. So, hey, how's the planning and strategizing and all that coming along? Fine. The only enemy that remains for us is Cao Cao. We need only cross these peaks of Hanjiang, and we... I can't stand you. You're cold as ice, aren't you? You don't care about real people. Han Zhong's your only concern. Well, it was thanks to you that Brother Yu was killed. I know it's not your fault. People die in war. But do you have to be so cold and calculating just to take this stupid land? Ugh. I believe our Lord will serve all of the land well. I will do whatever is asked of me. Just as you must do, using your great strength. I don't need anybody to tell me that! Listen! We're going to take this land. Nobody's going to give up the fight. And you, don't screw up. The land shall belong to our Lord Liu Bei. And that is the strategy we will follow. But my lord, what will be of even greater importance than strategy will be my lord's spirit, as well as those of all the soldiers who will be fighting in the battle today. Ah. Today is the day when all the ambitions of Cao Cao come to an end. And the day when this long age of chaos will be brought to a close. <coughs> Not now. Not now. I can control the fate of this great army, but not my own body. Just a bit more. Just a little bit more. It's not for much longer. Then I can go when we've won. Now we have our victory, and it's all thanks to you. I wanted to tell you that... Forgive me for what I've done, Master Guan Yu, Master Peng Tong, please forgive me. Stay! You can't leave. You can't go and die on me like this. You must live. I have no more need for your strategies, it's true. After all that you've done, you must live in the land that you helped to create. My lord. Uh. Are you sure you're strong enough to be up? Yes. It appears that it is not yet my time. To visit those who have left us forever. Of course it isn't. You must not forget. You swore that you would walk by my side in the new land. It's getting warm. Do you not smell the scent of the blossoms? Yes. Spring is almost here. I would like for us to welcome it together. Look outside. Do you see the wonderful peach garden? It was there that my brothers and I swore our oath. So you say you are a descendant of the king of Zhongsha? Hmm. And yet without someone who can verify your bloodline? Well, 
You are correct. Right now, I have no great quality or strength by which I can prove my worth. However, the land is in need, and my love for the people will not allow me to ignore that need. I ask you, may I join? There is a strength that resides not in a man's arm. We must overcome the chaos within our land! All right, I get your point. I'm going to place you in command of one of the volunteer units. I thank you for your generosity. I shall do all in my power to repay your trust. Look over there, see? You've got a full complement of men now. All right, we finished off this group pretty quickly. Let's go back and have a drink. Mmm, good idea. We will drink a toast to our victory here today. And we'll drink to the future as well. Master Guan Yu and Master Zhang Fei. I have been blessed to meet such good people. So far I've been extremely fortunate. Master Guan Yu carries himself with a nobility of character that is almost regal. And although Master Zhang Fei lacks in social graces, he is a good man, and his strength in battle matches that of Master Guan Yu. But what of me? I know there is a way to achieve my purpose and my dream. But how can I when I rely on the strength of others? Hey, are you gonna stand around here all day? Let's get going. I must grow in strength to fulfill my dream of peace. That is how to save the world from chaos. Tell me, are you acquainted with a man by the name of Yuan Shu? Yes, by name, though I never actually met him. At the battle against Dong Zhuo, I think I saw him at a distance. Truly, some rumors have come to my ears, saying he has possession of the Imperial Seal. I hope that he has no plans to do anything disloyal with it. Master Cao Cao, could you lend, for a short time, a few of your horsemen to me? So, you require horsemen, eh? I would not refuse you, not when you need my aid. There is a condition, of course. For a time, you must leave the man you depend on so much, Guan Yu. What's that? Guan Yu? I understand. Master Cao Cao. My brother asks that you aid his cause. He will require some of your men. Brother! There is no need to be concerned. All I ask is that you continue on your path. Master Cao Cao watches the movements of the land very closely. He has prepared a response for anything that might occur. And right now, Cao Cao is looking most closely at Sun Quan of Jiangdong and Brother Bei. There is only one way to drive Cao Cao away. We must deal with Sun Quan. We have no choice but to ally with him. But why? Why is it that Cao Cao is so concerned about me? Sun Quan, that makes sense. But I do not even have a home. I wander from place to place. You don't understand your worth. Look and see. Look at how all the people have gathered to your side. That is the reason that Cao Cao is so frightened of you. Because of the bonds you make with people. Is it true? That it's a strength to be feared? Well then, my Lord Guan Yu. I give you charge of our naval forces. I understand. Farewell, brother. Our paths will soon cross on the banks of the Changjiang. You're being foolish. You place too much emphasis on a name. You do realize that the land and the family of Liu are not the same thing. You have to stop closing your mind to that. 
What are you saying? Close my mind? Then help me understand what this road is that I've been following! I have always been proud of my connection with the Imperial Han. It has given me courage and purpose. What road should I take? A man with no name has none! What does a name matter? Now listen. You have before you an even more important road to walk, don't you? Look at the fine men who have fought by your side. Look at the people who have shared your wandering and your troubles. It's not your name that supported you. It is their strength and loyalty that have kept you on this path. Don't you know that? I should know it. They are each like diamonds to me. As you are to them, you shine like a guiding light in all of their hearts. Isn't that enough for you? I feel sorry about Master Yu Zhang, but it's good Chengdu has finally fallen. I thank you. I know there would have been no victory without you, were it not for your loyalty. I don't know how I would be able to go on. No one's here because they want to follow the name of Liu. I know we are here for only one reason, and that is the vision that you've shown us all. You are our lord regardless of what name you bear. It is your vision that holds us to you. I shall not lose my pride in my name. However, no more will I be prisoner to it. From now on, I shall fight only as myself. Together, we'll put an end to the chaos. It was awful, Lord. I saw it all. Commander Guan Yu, he met death at the hands of Wu. Guan Yu? No! No! Brother! I promised. We swore that we would walk together. I have lost him. He was the closest to me. The one who was most important. What have I been doing and thinking? Tell me what you're waiting for! Brother, we must take our revenge! I must do it! Please wait, my Revenge! Lord. This is war! Summon the generals here at once! Why do you show me no honor? I am in bonds! Kill me right now! So... Tell me the form of the vision you were striving for. Peace for Wu. And peace for Shu. Peace for Wei. Leave the land to grow as it would do. Grow in peace. Negotiations instead of war. And now your dreams are dead. My anger is still not appeased. I will never forgive you. Still. I know I must find a way to move beyond hate. So, from this day forward, you will serve my dream, not your own. You will maintain the peace in Zhongdong. Guan Yu, allow this to be our vengeance. I must stay true to the vision. It must be a path strong enough to include all. Cao Cao would provide a path, introduce strong principles and nurture everyone's talents and abilities. It's a vision that could please the people. Ha! Huh. He's nothing but hot air! Even without the guy's leadership, the people can learn to grow without anyone's help. 
Right. That is correct. By working together, they can teach themselves the proper path. And yet, it assumes that they know what to do. But nothing is certain. But giving them hope and guidance is Brother Bay's task. That's why we're here, isn't it? To help him? I fear we have no choice but a battle. Cao Cao. Neither of us will bend, so one must break. Friends! Let this be the final battle that our poor land must face! We must grasp victory! Through our strength, the battle will be won! <laughs> One of these freshly steamed buns. Oh, I must try it. Hmm. Master, you've added something new. Bamboo sprouts? Just put them in. It came out well. I think it really adds something to the taste. Your Highness. You're not supposed to be going off by yourself. Please. Forgive me, Xiao Yun. Funny. But I find that this old marketplace is a lot more comfortable than the Imperial Throne will ever be. I can tell. The calm and peace on the faces of these people is the vision of the land my lord worked so hard to create. Did you call us lord? Uh, Your Imperial Highness! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah. The sun feels so good out here today. Diao Chan, time to start. Be careful you do not get hurt out there today. Yes, my lord Lu Bu. I wish you a safe return. Hmm. Yeah! My lord father. I will do everything that I can to ensure that your plan is successful. did well. Thanks to you, Dong Zhuo has met his end. <sighs> oh, Lord Father. No. I will carry on with your plan, Father. I will make full use of my Lord Lu Bu's great strength. I shall bring about the return of the Imperial Han. I'm telling you, they seized the Emperor while I was away! How dare you accuse me when they are the traitors! Forgive me, but what evidence do we have to prove that? He fought for the Imperial Han. How can they call you a traitor to the Imperial Court? It's shameful. An insult. Do you know what can be done about this? Do you? I suggest that we find a way to prove your loyalty. I have a thought. It is rumored that Sun Jian has taken the Imperial Seal. You would be serving the court to return it. I believe such an act would benefit you. Yes, that's it. Retrieve the seal. Get it back from the hands of Sun Jian. Hmm. You agree that I should do this, so I'll pay a little visit to Sun Jian. Please withdraw your men! We serve the Imperial Court! There is no reason for us to fight each other! Be quiet! I don't trust you or your lies! 
I have my duty. You mere servants of tyranny. You will not get the seal. That is final. I tried telling them, but they do not believe me. They suspect that I am disloyal to the Han. What's that? I pleaded and pleaded with them. <laughs> Don't shed tears because of them! If those fools will not listen to your words, then they will listen to my spear! If you had simply believed us, then this need not have happened. I tried to tell you... My lord! The forces of Cao Cao! They are marching towards us! Hmm. Let him come. He can crawl right up to me. I like squashing bugs! Please don't fight with him, I'm begging! You cannot fight with someone who has the support of the Emperor! You still dare to say that? I was. I know what you would say. But still, I must. All right. Pull back the men. As you wish. You mustn't worry. I would never do anything to make you sad. Thank you. None of these dogs are going to follow you! But you? You will not fight with Cao Cao's forces, am I right? Then I will fight in your place. I shall never let any harm come to you. Don't worry about me. There is no one who can beat me! Look at this. We have been forced to flee this far from the capital, but at least we can rest. What to do? A little talk, perhaps? Did you think I have no eyes? Only you can influence him. You have him right where you want him. It's not like that at all. I have no hidden purpose. I merely wish to repay the kindness I received from the man I call father. What a faithful daughter you are. I wish you well in your pursuit of your ambitions and dreams. And yet, it fills me with curiosity to speculate what his dream would be were it left to him. My Lord Lu Bu? His dream? If Dong Zhuo and Cao Cao have anything in common, it's ambition. They both were using the glory of the Imperial Han. <sighs> I wish there was a way we could return the Han to its former power and glory. Only by fighting can we achieve it. Listen. Dong Zhuo was defeated by Guile. In this battle, I will use my might to win. This will be my fight. I shall not lose. Let us go. Did he just... known what I was doing. Why did he say that then? Just watch. I shall drive Cao Cao's entire army from the field of battle. It will soon be over these battles that grieve you so. Please don't go yet! Please don't go yet! I have to tell you! There's something I need to tell you! There's no need to speak. I understand. And do not worry. I shall do all in my power to help you realize your desire. My lord... Please return safely. Thank you so much.
Are you sure? Diao Chan? We have brought peace back to the Han Dynasty. Isn't there something at the Imperial Court that you long to do? No. My only desire was to fulfill the dying wish of my father. That is done. Let's enjoy the peace of the land and leave all the rest to Master Chen Gong. Of course. But there's no guarantee that someone else won't appear and bring chaos to the land again. That should happen. No! We have done our share. We have been fighting for the longest time. My newest desire is living with you in peace. Just you and I. Why? Wasn't I the one who killed Dong Zhuo? So why must I leave the capital? I fail to see the benefit in yelling about it. Besides which, are you saying that you have some interest in remaining there? Ah, life in the capital. The warriors are gone and what remains of the dusty halls is ambition and greed. <sighs> in my opinion, there must be a land more suited to you where you would be appreciated. You mean I should find a new path? A path that lets you fight and show your great strength to the world. And using that strength, seize all that you desire. I see. I like it. Why don't we just go and do it then? The first thing we need to do is find you a land of your own. not pursue them. They'll come back and try to attack us again. Let them come back and try to better us. I don't care about what such weaklings do. Tell me, what do you think of this land being the one we talked about? I believe it should suffice. There's no need to wait. I believe this is the right time. We shall make war upon the chaos that brings war into our land. My lord! We received word that the forces of Lu Bu have entered the battle! What? What was that? Wait. You're absolutely sure. There's no doubt. No. No need to panic. Just get him to join our side. I saw him fight at Hulao Gate. Why did he come at such a crucial time? Huh. So Lu Bu has come back old relic of the past. Still, I guess that compared to Yuan Shao, he might well be a harder opponent to face. <laughs> this looks like an interesting fight. Anybody mind if I join in? Liu Yong, Wang Lang, who are they exactly? They're no one of any real importance. Just some of the clans who until recently had lived in the Zhongdong area. It's nothing you need to concern yourself about. I have no doubt they're merely an annoyance. An annoyance? Ten Gong, Zhang Liao. I'll be busy. Make sure the forces are ready for the next battle. You mean to... You're going to fight them by yourself? 
Do you think I'll need your help to squash some bugs? We can't let him. No need to worry yourself. I shall send our Lord's personal guards to follow him. Such occurrences as this cannot be avoided. That is the nature of the man we follow. Yes, you're right. Lord, please forgive us! We were only doing what Cao Cao ordered us to do! It's true! Yes, it's true! We were obeying orders! We prefer to obey your orders, Lord! You're the superior man! Let us help you win the land! Enough! I don't need more strength! Or wisdom! Having you around would weigh me down. You want to live? Then go! Hmm. Let's go now. Please wait, my lord. This battle is the largest and most dangerous we've ever been in. My advice would be that you wait until their forces have been weakened and then join the fray. You're wasting your breath. You cannot stop him. It's not something Lord Lu Bu would even consider. I will fight. I refuse to stay here while you go out alone. I will join you in the battle. Time to show those who would wage war what the consequences of their actions are. To war! Hmm. I prefer action to talk. Still, good speech. Ah, uh, now they're both going. I wash my hands of it. Let's go. Nothing but betrayal. I desire revenge, and I will have it. I have come back from the grave, and I won't rest until I have your head on a platter. Greetings, Dong Zhuo. I am back, my old enemy, but I am here to help you in your quest to rid the land of Lu Bu. Now, we will join our strength together. And we'll destroy this beast born of the Blue Dragon! Apparently, we are up against a formidable enemy. I hear nothing but the babble of vermin. Why should I be frightened of them? I'll soon put them back in their rotting graves. Well, quite a compliment to have all these heroes join together to face us in battle. It would appear they object to what we've been doing throughout the land. What a pity. Object? It is foolish for them to object. It is the natural way for vermin to give way to strength. You are correct, of course. Still, it seems like the entire land has come here to destroy you. It wasn't very wise of them. I'm glad they came here to fight. I will teach all of them a lesson. They will fall to the greatest warrior in the world. Are there no others? Is there no one left to challenge me? Is this the end? Are there no more great battles for me to join? Oh! I still wish to wield my blade in battle! I do not care who! Come and face me! Come and face the great Lubu!
My lord, the forces of Salpi of Hebei approach! Master Chen Gong, we defeated all the armies of the land. We defeated the chaos. Still the battles don't abate. There is no peace in the land. You thought that defeating all enemies would end the fighting. But defeating chaos is not as simple as that, I fear. Using war to end war, but offering nothing else to replace it. So the void is filled with more war. Is that so bad, though? You need only look at the smiling face of our lord. The daughter of Jiang Fei has risen up in rebellion. There is a force approaching from the west that we've never seen before. I will fight all and stand victorious! Look! It is the great sage, Master Zheng Zhao himself! Forward! The time has come for us to build a new world! be slain, or the darkness on the land won't go away. A strange fate, is it not, Lu Bu? The entire land has been united with the sole purpose of ridding it of you! What is that? Do you hear that sound? As if mere water could stop me. Do you think I'm that easy to destroy? <laughs> Master Sun Tse, we have come here to help you. You traitor Yuan Shu, you will pay! I, Liu Bei, descendant of Liu Shang, King of Zhongshan, will end your infamy! Say that every bit of our supplies are gone, all put to the torch? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I praised Cao Cao's strategy. It was very clever of him. However, Cao Cao has underestimated the Yuan family fortitude. Look there. So, this is what you foresaw? Well done, my cousin. 
Well, with you and I fighting together, this will be an easy battle to win! Well, forgive me then, my fair city. This must be done to vanquish the chaos. For that greater purpose, let these flames raise your fair walls. Think that just having a lot of boats is going to save you? Take this! Stand a chance fighting against Wu, especially on the water. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Are you lost? You didn't really think you could pass so easily through a road like this. For a greater purpose. It is a purpose that even I will risk my life for. No father spoke of. The time is now. Look, 
The pig! They've cut through it! Has come time. Do it. A trap. Pull back. No, go forward. Did you see? It will draw you in and devour you. This is the enchanted castle of Heifei. Release! To the glory of Shu and the plans of our Prime Minister, let our arrows pierce way and all who follow it! Forgive me then, my fair city. This must be done to vanquish the chaos. For that greater purpose, let these flames raise your fair walls. Rated T for Teen.
come at last. You fiend, Cao Cao. At last, the time has come to bury you. My father and my entire family will have their vengeance! Vengeance? Hmm. Such resolve. Are you prepared to carry it out? defeated Cao Cao before. I came to lose everything. Cao Cao, I swear to you, you will come to know my pain. <laughs> ah, the grief you gave me will return in kind. When I have my vengeance, your followers will feel the same desire. So this is how chaos perpetuates itself. Which means... that I've been a part of this very chaos. I've lost sight of what true justice is. Master Zhang Lu. You called for me. Our ally Liu Zheng is under attack. Go at once. By who? Liu Bei. Liu Bei? He of honor and virtue. That Liu Bei? You seem troubled. Surely you aren't forgetting the debt that you owe me. To think that you would go back on your good word. I will depart at once and defeat the army of Liu Bei. If I deliver your head to Cao Cao, my rule will be secure. Why, you little... How dare you! Run! I'll clear us a path! I should have known Zhang Lu had no honor. But, where should I go? Liu Bei. Surely he's the one.
My lord, I humbly ask to serve by your side. We have been waiting, Lord Nacho. I knew you, one of true honor and justice, would appear here before us. Yeah, you can really hold your own in a fight. Well, he's still green, but he's got potential. Please, raise your head. Thank you for coming here to join us. As long as this body draws breath, I will repay this debt to you. Hey, march out! Don't you try stealing all my glory. You hear what I'm saying, boy? Please don't be upset. He's just trying to be friendly. Lord Liu Bei. May I ask you what you hope to accomplish in this world? My dream is to create a world where people can live in peace. To achieve that, there are many powerful enemies that I must defeat. Lord Liu Bei. For welcoming me with open arms, I am grateful. The justice that I seek, I may find while with you. You mustn't! To wage war out of vengeance isn't right! Silence. I must avenge the death of my brother. Prepare to march. Who must pay? We march in the name of Guan Yu! Lord Liu Bei! Our role here is simple. Claim victory. That is the honorable thing to do. <clears throat> but... That is not what justice is. Can a world where people act in anger be considered one of virtue? To take vengeance, just to have vengeance taken again from another. The justice that I seek is not to be found here. I see you are still suffering from the discord born from Yi Ling. I am in Lord Liu Bei's debt. Cao Cao must die. to the rage that you displayed at Town Gate. I gave up that anger. Hmm. Yet despite that, you would still kill me. This isn't for revenge. It's for my own sense of closure.
This is a good horse. I'll take it. Yeah, he can really run and is worth the price. Will this be enough? I can't take this. It wouldn't be fair. Even if I put this on display, I don't think it'll sell. Then keep it somewhere in back. Wait a second. Are you much? Yeah. My name is Yua Ying. I have come here at my father's request to help Lord Liu Bei. Oh, thank you for coming. We could use some help. No, for I will only be able to help for the coming battle. Once it is complete, my obligation will have been fulfilled. We understand. You will see and hear much. I am sure you will discover something more. Please forgive my rudeness. Now, if you will please excuse me. A most impressive young woman. Yes, so she is. My father also said that I might find something while I am here. I wonder what it might be. So, here you are. Because of you, we were able to escape from this battle. I thank you. You were looking at the people that we saved? Yes. Just what is the kind of world that Lord Liu Bei seeks? The world that my lord envisions is one where people live in peace. One where a scene such as this would be usual and commonplace. Everybody seems so happy. Surely, our paths will cross again. Farewell. I felt that we would meet again, but not under such circumstances. Yes, I felt the same. Our marriage was my father's decision, but I could not say it was entirely against my will. In this battle, I will watch over Shu. No. I will watch over you yourself. I would be honored. Now then, can you feel it? The wind from the southeast? Hmm. Yes, I can. The moon is quite beautiful. Yes. A stark contrast to the chaos. I hope that this moon is able to illuminate the path that you would walk. I must ask you something. What is it that you seek? That which hinders my lord. Destiny. Hate.
pride and sacrifice. If I bear those burdens in his place, then he will be the light that guides this world. That is my sole purpose, that my burden will be the world's peace. That burden. Will you allow me to carry half of it? Lord Zhuge Liang, are you hurt? Yue Ying. No. I am okay now. My love, watch out! Uh, I should not have called you. Please forgive me. I do not mind. You a Ying? Then, shall we go, my dearest love? The morale of the troops seems quite high. And now... If only these goods can be delivered safely. Shu is well defended. I'm sure there is no need for concern. In order to ease your concern, I developed a new invention. Do you wish to see it? Yue Ying. I could not ask for a more fitting wife than you. Yi Ling, you performed admirably. Hmm. However, Master Guan Yu had a special place in our Lord's heart. His vengeance. There was no way but to attack Wu. I understand. But I beg of you, don't try and endure it by yourself. I promised to help you. Don't you remember it? Yes, you did. Indeed, I am truly blessed to have such a beloved wife. As am I. Well then, let us ride for Han Zhong. Ah, Lady Yue Ying. My beloved, are you not feeling well this morning? No, there is nothing for you to worry about. But you do not sound like you are well. We just finished a long, hard battle, and my fatigue is showing, I think. Yue Ying, you too should rest. I want you to reinforce that wall. Yes, my lord. Go and assist those men. I'm counting on you. Perhaps he's pushing himself too hard. Yes. My husband is always working hard to achieve his dreams. Master Zhuge Leong is not alone. We all must do what is required. Huh? We are all fighting for our true purpose. So we stand on the battlefield. You're right. 
In that case, our roles are clear. In order to protect what is dear to us, we must fight with all our strength. The blossoms are beautiful. My love! Please don't strain yourself. I'm all right. Not full strength. But I think I'll be fine in time. As I look at the peach blossoms, I wish that I could but be able to allow one more flower to bloom. My love, I'm sure that all you have done is more than enough. For now, I insist that your strategies focus on getting some rest. You are Ying. I knew in the beginning that you and I were fated for each other. Master Sun Tse! Tai Shi Tsi, your strength surpasses my greatest expectations. I'm going to enjoy this. Come and face me! Very well. I will defeat you, bringing an end to this battle! Okay, prepare to finish them off for good! Hmm. So the enemy has set up camp on the summit. Light the fires! 